this next 30 days is it is it going to feel like a life sentence or is it going to be a time of preparing for vacation according to government health officials this is a time of isolation of the population. Now to some, this may mean self-imprisonment. And to our pastor, it simply means it's vacation time and how we should go about using it. You know, when you prepare for vacation, you're excited and you're anticipating and you're looking forward and you can almost uh, live out something that you haven't gotten to yet. Well, right now, you need to be going on vacation. Our government has given us 30 days of staying at home. Now, the question is, what do I do at home? How, how do I enjoy, not endure? Please hear me, not endure. You know, some people, because I got to endure this 30 days. No, no, plan to enjoy it. Uh, believe it or not, everything you've got is real close to you. It's probably in your house. If you got loved ones, you got something in your house. If you got, if you single and you got a phone, that's someone that's as close to you as your phone. But the whole thing is, you know, words are very powerful things. Words can tear down, words can build up. In fact, let me give you a verse from Ephesians chapter 4, verse 29. It says, let no, un let no unwholesome word proceed out of your mouth, but only such a word is good for edification, for the need of the moment, that it may give grace to the hearers. So I want you during these 30 days to begin to speak positive to the people in your house. Find something that you can build them up in because they need you right about now. You think you bored. They really bored. And make this very creative, a time of enjoyment. You know, if you was going on vacation, you'd plan it out. You'd say, okay, on this day, we're going to see this. On this day, we're going to see this. On this day, we're going to see that. What about if you plan out tomorrow? Tomorrow morning at nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, we're going to do this. Uh, we're going to spend time with the family. We're going to get around the table. We're going to share uh, some pictures from our, from our vacations. We're going to um, um, uh, look at some pictures on the wall that we've taken, and somebody going to tell a story. What was happening here? Why are you smiling so much on this picture? And, and let it feel the atmosphere, feel that. So now you got the next day coming up. So now you got to be creative all over again. So what are you going to do like today? I mean, what about uh, uh, having a gourmet meal? I mean, what about setting the table and, and, and let everybody participate, let everybody um, uh, uh, give their idea, their creative ideas of how this gourmet meal can be so attractive. And by the way, it's never the taste of the food, it's the atmosphere. If, if, if you got a loving atmosphere, the food sure will taste good. So what I wanna encourage you is, don't endure these next 30 days, but enjoy these next 30 days. It's a mindset. It's what you decide. If you decide to enjoy it, that's what it shall be. If you decide to endure it, that's the pain you've got to endure. And 30 days become a long time if you don't have any plans to be active during the 30 days. So let's not look at it as if it's a life sentence. Let's look at it as we're preparing for vacation because this too shall pass. It didn't come to stay, it came to pass. Let it pass, but you end up with having joy and being able to look back and say, now did not those 30 days bless us in ways that we didn't think was possible. Let me pray for your 30 days. Father, I want to thank you, love you, praise you, wish you and adore you, and thank you for the people that understand we're in this thing together. Help them be creative. Help them to put their arms around uh, their love mates, I mean, their, uh, uh, their family, and, and, and draw their family up close to them now. 
Because now, because they've been passing like two ships in a night. But now, the, the, like the sun is shining, we can see one another. So let's enjoy one another. We thank you. We ask you things in Jesus' name. Amen.